Um, so recording is on. There we go. So with that being said, obviously he's acknowledging something is his fault in the relationship that's going on. Not so much. I mean, I guess it's kind of like he's very prideful though when it comes to him and his passing though too. So we'll get into that as well. Um, and so with that being said, we. Uh, I didn't care. I didn't want to be taken care of, but she took care of me well. Why is it like he's like in the, he he tries to be independent, but he's totally dependent on you? Like what is that? It's like it's it's almost like mom relationship. Like oh, I don't want this, and it's like mm, but I am, you know <laughs> that. Wow, hold on, hold on. I just couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle it, Amy. Okay, cool. Hang on, hang on. Uh, has a lot, do you do you have a lot of guilt associated with his death? Okay, because he goes, she has a lot of guilt. She has a lot of guilt associated with my death. Now, how do I channel people? Let me tell you that beforehand. That way you can kind of vibe with me on what I'm feeling. So I get a whole lot of um, signs and symbols. So kind of like picture an apple in your head, like a, a Granny Smith apple, right? You can see it's green. You can see what it looks like. You can see... If I tell you to taste it, you can probably remember what it tastes like. That's kind of how it feels when I channel spirit. I'm, I'm sensing an object. I'm feeling a person. I'm getting that taste in my mouth that's not actually there, you know, or I'm getting that feeling in my brain that's not actually there. Um, and then another thing that happens is that I will get actual phrases. I'll get actual words, which is kind of what's happening with him right now. It's like it's, it's so loud that I have to tell you. So, you know... Uh, yell to yourself and just say sit down like yell it in your head that's what it sounds like to me it's just right there um so i'll let you know exactly what i'm hearing and what i'm saying if it takes me a couple of seconds because i like to be right all the time because i feel like there's too many fakes in this industry or there's too many people that that just try to fish around um so if it takes me a couple of seconds to get something out i apologize i just want to make sure that what i'm hearing is correct so it's like i'm fact checking myself um with that being said very aggressive why is he angry why was he angry hang on he's very angry hang on he's just frustrated in his mo or this may be where he's at right now because he's very frustrated where he's at in life like even when he was talking to me about it, it was his fault it was his fault like it's, he's very frustrated like there's this hypersensitivity to negativity that goes along with it. Hang on, hang on. Broke her heart. Got the call, knew that I was dead, it broke her heart. So did you get the call, knew he was dead, it broke your, okay, cool, okay, hang on. I like him, he's a word person. I guess I'm vibing at a lower rate. So did he die accidentally or did he take his own life? Is that where it's at? Cool, okay, because it's a lower vibration. It's where they hang out in like this middle area. It's not a natural death. It's not a death where we're happy and everybody's hanging out. It's like, um, you know, when you're, when you're in a mood and you're sad and people that come around and they're happy and you're like, I'm just not vibing with you right now, please leave. Right. Or when you're very happy and somebody's really sad, you're like, I can't get on your level. That's kind of how it is when I channel, like there's certain people that die certain ways and they feel on that vibration or that level. And so I have to get at that. So he's at that level of like accidental death versus suicide. Like I got hit by a car or I did it myself. Like that's kind of that bewilderment that happens with it. Hang on. Wow. Wow. Hang on. He said, y'all were on again, off again. Were y'all on again, off again? Uh, mentally, yeah, but we live together. So yeah. Yeah. He said he hit away. He hit away. Yeah. I said, fine. He hit away. Hang on. Family, dogs. Did y'all have a dog? Okay. He said family, dogs, whole nine yards. He says, but I couldn't give her what she needed. Hang on. Plead with me. Plead with me. Plead with me. Would you plead with him? Would you plead with him? Okay. Because it's you can feel the like that type of feeling with it. Hang on. Hang on. I just couldn't have it. I just couldn't have it. Hang on. Wow. Were y'all living to, he says, y'all were, were y'all living together at the time of his death? 
No, I had left for about two weeks. Okay. Y'all, were your, was your stuff still at the same house, though? Some still of it, same? yeah. Okay, cool. Because I'm asking him, like, did she move away? Like, where did this go? And he was, he's talking about being able to see your stuff tangibly. Like, it's still around, you know? And I'm like, you should still live together because it's very much separate. Hang on. He said he did it quick and he did it right. Okay. We'll get into that in just a second. Mm. He didn't talk about it. It's like he danced around that idea for a little bit. So I'll tell you what he's talking about. He said, I did it quick. I did it right. I said, okay. And he goes, I said, well, why is it? I go, is it just out of left field? I said, I know that there was like negative connotations going on in between. And he's talking about how he had danced around or like played with the idea. It's like almost like if you have that feeling around it, it's like, we're just kind of like putting our foot in, taking it out. Or it's almost like we're lashing out as a child, like I'm going to do it, you know? And then it's like, that's how it feels like childlike state childlike attitude hang on hang on i couldn't handle the demon. why is he putting it on him he said he couldn't handle the demons inside his head did he have like issues with like compulsory or anger or fighting back and depression all those and we found out he was bipolar not before yeah Cool, because it's 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 because at one point he's very sweet, he's very nice, he's very calm, he's very chill. Like he would almost be like the ultimate stoner, ultimate dad. Like that's what he is. Yeah. And then the other part, it's this convoluted, anxiety-ridden, anger, lashing out, intense. He said all the women in my life tried to help me, but they couldn't. So all the women in his life tried to help me, but they couldn't. Yeah. Hang on. Are you still friends with his mom? Mm-mm. No. Really? Mm-hmm. They blame my me. Mom did her. Okay. He was about to say, well, when you're saying that, he goes, my mom did her wrong. Did your mom, her mom, his mom did you wrong? Okay. Yeah. He says, they don't see, they don't see. She was trying to help me. Were you trying to help him? You do a lot of the pleading stuff with him. A lot of the pleading stuff. A lot of the... I see why you got to that point. I see the anger and frustration. I see the pleading part. I see that. that. But when he's in that certain mental state... Yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing you can do. It's it's almost like, you know, when, when I was in postpartum depression, right? You could tell me I was a beautiful 110%, but I still wanted to run out the door and leave the country. Yeah. Like it's a it's a chemical thing almost to a point um hang on hang on wow and they found me they found me just like that so they found him Oh, it found me just like that. He's talking about being laid out. So is he on the floor? This so it was like a it's like a intense thing. Hang on. He's talking about it being graphic. Did we find him? Okay, cool. A big, I'm not even going to talk about the graphicness. I mean, we can get into it, yeah. but I don't think we need to. Um, it's not like somebody that just dies because they had a heroin overdose. Right. It's not like where they look like they're sleeping. Um, spirit will go into that too. Um, why is he leaning back? Where is he at? What is he doing when that happens? Where is he at? Our closet. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Cool. Because it's talking about like putting all of our weight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Grandpa, is his grandfather dead? Yeah. Cool. Because he says, Grandpa won't have me. I've never heard that before. 
So it's almost like he's trying to figure out where he's at. Like he can't level up yet. He can't go to that. Remember I told you about frequencies, about people being yep. in different areas. It's not that he's bad. He's not in a negative standpoint. He's just not at that level where he's at peace with himself yet. Hang on. Hang on. It was barely this year. Was it this year that this happened? Mm -mm. When was it? 2018. Really? Yeah. yeah. So it's just two years. Okay. But it was in November? September. Okay. I'm like, it wasn't December at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. 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 Okay. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Were we all together for like four or five years or longer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Hang on. And you have two dogs, right? No, you have three now. Mm -mm. What are the two? He's talking about the two. One is here, and then what happened with the other one? What was the dog? Where'd the dog go? I had to give him away. Because he's talking about, oh, there's one and it's gone. One and it's gone. I'm, or it's like, we had two and one's gone. It's like, mm -hmm. they're putting one finger down for me. Hang on. Hold on. I like that we contacted him now instead of like three months before. Hang on. There's a dog now. There, that's the second one. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Getting to be an old man. Hmm. Is that like a three year old dog? She is four. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Sorry, it's like we're not younger than this. It's a, they feel like they're around like 30. That's why I'm like, mm, right. <laughs> hang on. Sorry, I know that's weird. Just cool. Okay, hang on. Had her from she, so you've had her since she was a puppy? Yeah. Cool. She's talking about that. Okay, do you, are you okay? Okay, wait. You brought her home. Hang on. Did you get her from another person, like from an actual person? Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Because I'm asking, like, did you get from a pet shop? Like, did we order online? And she's like, no, handing it straight from somebody to somebody else. Like, it's like seeing somebody leaving and then going to you. Okay. We're channeling dogs at the same time, so we're doing I love dogs. it. I talk to her all the time. I would love to know what she thinks. Really? Okay, cool. I just, some people are like, um, yeah, and, and dogs are so... I have channeled dogs that have died. I've channeled dogs that are alive. And dogs are, dogs are so loving when they do something wrong in your eyes, they don't know that they did something wrong. And they wonder why it's not like you did this bad thing. You pooped on the carpet. It's terrible. They're afraid of doing it because they're afraid of disappointing you. They, they, they are not concerned with what they did. They're like, okay, I guess I won't do that action again because it made them sad. You know, like that's how it is. Just remember going forward to hang on, hang on. Does she still chew? No. We're talking about gnawing. He's talking about gnawing. Did she know him? Did she know him? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Did she chew on him? Mm, she was very protective over him. Okay. Yeah. Cool. He's, he's showing me teeth with it. That's why I'm like, did we chew on him? Or like, maybe that is a protection thing. That's just a sign he's showing. Hang on. We should have had a baby, but it never worked out. Were y'all going to have a family? We tried. That's it? Cool. Hang on. Did you have a miscarriage and you lost it right away? Mm -mm. He's talking about it was it was like coming up, but then it's not like we're at six weeks or four weeks. It's like very, very early. Hang on. There's no soul attached to it. That's what I'm like. Mm. Hang on. She couldn't handle my anger. She couldn't handle my aggression. belittling her. 
complacency. Why does he feel complacent? Why is he talking about his complacency with you? He says she couldn't handle that. What's going on with that? I just, he stopped trying. He stopped caring and it was all on me. Complacency. Yeah. Very, very accurate about the belittling. That's, it's, it's very, there's that. Any issue that he has is your issue and you caused it. It, I mean, any any issue, like, even if it's like, what do you want for dinner? Well, you need to fucking find out. Why don't you now? Da, da, da. Like, just stupid shit like that. Hang on. You still have his clothes, though? Some. Cool. Because I go, I go, she's gone. Like, it's all gone. He was like, he, she still has my clothes. So. I'm like, oh, okay. She's over it now. So you're kind of over it now from that. He's talking about like you having to take them and have them with you for a while. And then after that, now it's kind of like they're in an area where you can just stare at them, look at them, appreciate them, move forward from them. Hang on. Won't let him in your life. Did you have a guy come through and you just like didn't let him in your life or something like that? You pushed him out? Mm-hmm. Good. He's like, mm, she's getting smart. It's it's so, the feelings and the phrases are so expressive. So if you see me like do some weird stuff, I apologize. Um, wait, okay. So you have your own place now. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Because he's talking about you even had him come over and stay for a little bit. Was that a thing for a second? Like he's talking about talking to him and like having him stay in your area. No. Stay in the conversation area. Maybe that's what it is he's talking about. It's the space. It's your sacred space. Did that only last a few weeks? What? The the ex guy, the guy you talked to for a second? Yeah, it wasn't long. Okay, cool. I'm like, it's quick. It's quick. Because he's talking about having you, and this is where I'm getting confused. At. It's like, is he in your space? Because in your space, because you guard your space very well. So it's almost like you let him in your circle for a second. I'm like, okay, is that home? Is that personal feelings? Like, what is it? Because you let him in, and then you're like, no, 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 no I'm done. Gone. Gone. Hang on. Does he have any regrets? Yes. We'll get into that. Are you okay with that? Okay. That was one of the things he talked about. He goes, do I have any regrets? Like clear as day. Hang on. He says, he says, I wish I wouldn't have gone in that closet. He goes, but the world didn't have a place for me. Hang on. I had a place for you. No, it's different. Hang on. He said, what was I going to do? Get on antidepressants and kill myself when I'm 40? It's almost like he acknowledges that there were issues going on for quite a long time. And that it was almost like a childlike behavior for him to deal with it. And I ask him, I go, well, if somebody prevented you, I go, I go, what would you have done? He was like, what would I have done? Get on antidepressants till I'm 40 and then do it? Like, it's like we would have had this whole life built up first and then it would have happened. Like, can you imagine the house of cards that would have fallen at that point versus now? You know, hang on. Did he never get to give you a ring? He did. I know what that is. What is I, that? My Tell ring, me. it it broke. Um, a diamond fell out and we had it fixed and then we split so he had it in his safe he got it back and it was in his safe because he says i never got to give her the ring i never got to give her the ring and that's why i'm like y'all been together for a fucking long time why didn't you get it okay yeah okay it was. yeah did you never get it back i did finally okay was it a three three diamond 
Mm, it was a lot of diamonds. Okay, yeah. cool. I'm like, it's multiple, whatever it is. It's like, oh, here, hang on. He said, don't judge me. It's what I could afford at the time. And I said, shut up. It looks good. Leave it alone. <laughs> I said, it's a good ring. It's a good ring. That's what my lady wanted. So you actually told him that's the one you wanted. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's it's not like he surprised you. He was like, that's what she wanted. I'm like, mm, you <laughs> get it. You get it. Hang on. Mm. He's talking about he's talking about having a memorial for him and it wasn't worth it. I'm like that's a his opinion. It's almost like, you know, they tried their best. They tried to make it very light, like airy, like this a loving person is amazing and he's like, mm, that's not worth it. Mm -hmm. Too, but she couldn't talk. Hang on. Did he have a lot of little cousins? Did he have a lot of younger cousins or something like that? Yeah, he's got cousins. Yeah. Because well, he's talking about he, he's talking about like making everybody disappointed, and I'm like, chill, dude, chill. Like you're cool. You're cool. Hang on. Do you, do you have, what do you, it's not a shirt. Do you, do y'all, do you have the same bed that y'all slept in or do you sleep with something of his every night or something like that? Is that a thing? Mm -hmm. What is it? Well, it's still the same bed, the mattress, but I did, I slept with one of his shirts that he, he had worn. It was dirty. So it smelled like him for a long time. Cool. Cool. Sorry. I'm like, cause he's talking about the bed, but it's not the frame. It's the material. It's all material. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Not weird that you do that. It's weird that I see that. Like that's, that's okay. It's hard to explain these things. Hang on. That's cool. Shitty old apartment. Did he die in an apartment? Really? Okay, because he goes, I go, where'd you die? I was like, well, what would your house look like? And he goes, it was a shitty old apartment. <laughs> I, go, I loved it. He hated it. I. That's his. That's his opinion. Yep. That's, and I'm like, it's not old. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a beautiful place. He's like a shitty old apartment. I'm like, it's not that old, dude. It's not that old. Hang on. Was he older than you? Really? Because he feels like you, this is not a bad thing. You feel like the grounder. You feel like the person that grounds everybody. And then he feels like the vibrant, like almost like an Aries. I don't know if he has a lot of Aries in him or Gemini. It's like he's like out there everywhere. Like we're doing everything. We're very imaginative. But it's we have definitely a lot of cancer behind us. What? When is his birthday? September. He's a Virgo. Is he a Virgo? Hold on. Do you mind if I pull his chart really quick? No. Okay, hang on, because I do this thing with, I also do astrology, Chinese face reading, all this stuff, and people that have this happen to them, there's always a similarity to it. Wait, when is his birthday, day, month, and year? 9983. Okay, hold on, 9, 9, 9, 83. Oh, he's five years older than me. Okay, and then where, do you know what city he was born in? Springfield, Massachusetts. Okay. All right, so mark my words on what I said. Let me see. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely, that would make sense. Okay, yeah, he's a Virgo, but he's also a Scorpio and a Cancer. So he is, yeah. Um, and then his, his fighting sign and his love sign are Aries um, and Leo, which means that our, 
we always want somebody to be proud of us. We always want somebody to be proud of us. We always want somebody to look up to us. Like if, if you are not, if you get disappointed in me, it hurts. It hurts. But we're not going to tell you it hurts. We're just going to act like we're a, an asshole for a second. It's the deflecting type of behavior. Um, he always liked things to be very light. He was very quick. I would probably tell you he was also more experimental and like, I don't know, I'd say like drugs or drinking and stuff like that growing up very because he wanted to get that high. He wanted to get that lift. He wanted to get that energetic vibe. Um, but if somebody told him no, it was a, a, a bomb upon God. Um, he did want to have, but he was also very protective of you. But the rules that applied to him did not apply to you. So it's a very mind fuck for, for you personally, because you feel very earth and water. So you feel very grounded. You feel very in depth. Like you feel other people's feelings. You, you're you there for the long haul. And he was a feeling person, but he's much more top note. So it's like, I love you. I care for you. But I, you know, if you don't go along with me, then you're against me, you know, like this, uh, what? You know, like it's a compromise. Um, and so it makes sense. So it's almost like his whole chart. So kind of like how I'm feeling him. His his whole chart is a paradigm of each other. It's like, you know, I'm this happy-go-lucky person. If you tell me I'm not, then it kills me inside. You know, I want to be this great thing. But when you tell me I need to do better, oh, my God, that kills me inside. Well, part of being better is knowing that you suck in certain areas so that you can get better, right? Like we just can't handle it. Um, you are a really good grounding neutral person for him. Um, you just start getting frustrated. You just start getting irate and he couldn't handle, but it was much more deep than that. So that's very interesting. Do you have any questions for me right now in closing? I mean, do you have anything? No. Okay. Okay. So if you need me again, if you do have any questions, if you have a weird dream, um, just email me, hit me up. I get them all the time. Okay. Yeah. I just, it's interesting about the dream is just because I, I did dream of him in a place, like you said, he wasn't unhappy, but he just mm -hmm. wasn't moving on. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's the, the, the best way I can describe it is we're not sad. We're not dark. It's like if you're in a room and you're just pacing, like yeah. you're waiting. That's kind of what that's kind of what he feels like. He's just there, and and that's that's what it is. the The Catholics call it purgatory yeah. in a way, but it's not bad. Like they call purgatory. It's just it's almost like it's near us, and that's why he came in so strong because it's like he's here. So just wait, give it a few minutes, give it a few moments. I mean, if you have a question, just email me if you get another dream. But part of it is forgiving him and, and telling him it's okay to move forward because he's still very anxious about what happened and what was going on. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I love you. And if you need me, let me know. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Bye.